All right, guys and girls, this is Jerningham here. I had a good idea of thinking about things. The phone decided to crash on me, even though I was talking about a video. And I was going to upload the video that I was talking about. Imagine if, uh, charging your phone in midair outside. And you never know. Uh, it's, it's a good idea. I mean, imagine having sonal uh, panels on your phone without charging it. You, you even know that most of these houses have solar panels on houses, bungalows, flats, places that you live in have solar panels on there so the cars as well but the thing is um it's just a good idea imagine having a vape and actually charging it outside in the air without a charger i mean I'm not going to put solar panels on the vape are they to be honest with you this is the video that i was going to be loading up until the phone decided to crash on me there's many theories and things that are on this video and what i'm saying and trying to help you understand what i'm saying i think my way everybody thinks their uh, their way now, I'm sorry the video crashed and didn't upload to YouTube and uh, sometimes these technology things don't work properly. But we can always just think of a positive. You know, at least I'm doing the video again and making it more better and improving in the video. So, you know, we're living in a crazy world with this coronavirus. I was talking about on the phone as well. I was going to upload and uh, what happens if this new variant doesn't work with the old variants of coronavirus like AstraZeneca? And the Oxford jab, if it doesn't, then we have lockdown again. Some people are preventing lockdown because they don't want it again. Some people are sick of lockdown because of the businesses, because of the cinemas, the restaurants, and the jobs that people have. Nobody likes this lockdown. People are fed up. That's why people did all these protests and stuff and started marching. And yes, I've had a beer as well. I've had to remember all this in my head, what I said before. Um... So it's good to relax and explain yourself and talk to the world and actually talk to other people about what you're going to talk about. Now, I did a seven minute video a minute ago to talk about general stuff and it's going to go back, it's going to, go back to the seven minute video, hopefully, because um, I had so much to say in that video and so much to talk about. And it's nothing wrong with people talking about things and having a general chat and expressing the way because we all think different in the world. Some people are quieter than others. Who knows? But, you know, um, the world can be a crazy place. Nobody wants more death and more dying in this world. People want to get on in the world. And by the other hand, if I give you guys and girls a choice, which world would you pick? The left side or the right side? The left side takes you to a different world with no coronavirus and people thought you were crazy. And it never would happen. The right side more pain there people are still dying some people may have the choices some people may not have the choices to go there to different worlds some people just put up with it but if you had the choice and opportunity you'd pick them wouldn't you and another thing eventually they may build motorways into space uh, people may move on the moon and mars as well so if you like space and mars and any of it sort of thing that i'm talking about this was in the other video what i was doing because it obviously the video crashed on me Lots of people do videos and they probably get frustrated if it crashes and doesn't go through, so they have to explain everything over again. Some people don't mind doing that, but everybody, other people do, or don't, I don't know. And I'm not talking in riddles. This is me expressing myself about the world, telling you guys and girls this is how I feel about the world. You may think differently to me. I don't know if you guys and girls go for the same thing with family members. You try and please them and make them happy, and sometimes they... Um, understand what you're saying but they don't actually see the thing and what you're trying to tell them they get your family members seem to get very confused and think well why is he talking like this why is he being like this and it probably frustrates you guys and girls that uh, you know we all think differently fair enough but sometimes family members need to really understand where you're coming from which they don't that's why they can't under the headlights are there but the things that going through and then some family members can be horrible to you, turn things around and make you feel bad, which it's not right in the world. We all deserve to have a bit of happiness and be happy. But some people like to drag people down in the world and make them miserable. And some people like to be around nice people, happy people, not negative people, but you can have a laugh and a joke, it's fine. There's a few things on YouTube with these bullies and uh, there's a few things that they do to upset people and there's a few things that people don't understand hang on 
I'll tell you what I, my, my thoughts and feelings about it. They think it's cool to pick on someone with problems. They think it's cool to just target somebody if they've got a family or anything else. Now, the thing is, I don't think it's cool. I think it's disgusting and disgraceful that they go to them lengths of targeting people, innocent people, and they don't think about the consequences, but they don't care. They pretend to be all sorts of people. Why do they do it? Because they're bored, they can't cope with the lockdown. <clears throat> and uh, the people that they associate with are in it for the same thing, the thrill, the laughter, and everything else. They don't care what's really going on either, just as that person that's making the trouble. Now, I'm not saying everybody in the world is a bully, and everybody in the world is horrible and nasty. There is nice and genuine people. There's nothing wrong with having a laugh and taking the piss. But when you're bullying someone to take their own life and when you're saying horrible things to them, that's the problem that people have. Now, we were all like, there's most of us in this world are nice, genuine people that understand one another, that uh, understand what is going on in this world. I'm not saying everyone's perfect in the world, but uh, two seconds. I'm going to find something here because my headphones are not working again. Right, what was I saying? What was I saying in the world about people being different and talking about things are different? You know, people don't understand the same ways as a lot of people. You know, inside your heart, guys and girls, you'll be able to understand and try and find what you're looking for. We all get lost in our own way and need probably help to get on the right track. I'm not saying none of us are perfect, we ain't, but we try to be. We try to be people that people can be proud of us and people can talk about us and say, well, isn't that guy a fantastic guy, a person? You can actually rely on him, trust him, speak to him about things. Not everyone's like that the same in the world, but, you know, people, you know, you know who your real friends are is what I'm saying. But some people don't know who the real friends are and they get mixed up in the mix and, you know, things just go pear-shaped. Put it in a, that kind of way. But I, I, I don't know. It's not early days, guys and girls, but uh, the, world's a, the world is upside down at the moment and we can make it better again. Being there for somebody, helping someone. None of us have got it easy in this world. None of us have. I, you know, so as long as you can be the voice for people, not everybody can understand the world well. And some of us in our 30s and in our 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s struggle. We all struggle. We were, do you know how we're getting through all this coronavirus? We're, we're dragging through it. That's how we're getting through it. We're thinking positive. And... If I had a time machine, I'd sort all this craziness out. But there's no such thing as time machines, fair enough, some people would say. Well, what about the aliens out there? Did they have time machines? Did the aliens make a time machine? How did they travel so fast in the spaceship to our Earth? Is that a time machine? It could be, or it might not be. It's up to you guys and girls to decide. There may be people out there that I think I talk rubbish. Well, I'd say to them sort of people, I've got a very a vivid imagination. Think about all these books and what people have made, video games, TV shows, where they came from. Thinking from the brain. Knowledge, some people would say, is the key. It's true. Everything we see and do is someone has designed the floor that we walk on. Someone's made the floor. The windows that we see in our doors, someone's designed them. Very clever people. People that make music is very clever as well. Yep, it's a very clever world that we're in. You know, you see all sorts of things in the world. Sometimes you miss things we don't see. But anyway, guys and girls, I better go for now. It's been a pleasure talking like this and expressing my opinions about the world. Thank you for joining me. I will be uploading this video to YouTube so you'll see it. Anyway, I will be back again. Thank you for your time. If you're new here, thanks for subscribing. Everyone, peace. 
and keep yourself all safe. Peace.